So I've been trying to uh, install uh, the, the pretty printers since two days right now and I just figured out uh, how to install them for CLion and uh, CMake of course. So in this repo here, uh, you know, they say, yeah, you know, usage, um, you know, put that and uh, do that. However, it's, it's Windows here. I don't know what the fuck that means. Um, there's no home directory, you know, so it gets more complicated. Then I, I Googled and I found this, which, uh, you know, add, uh, they tell us to add um, a, a home uh, environment variable, uh, but that's, that's not, uh, that didn't work as well. So um, then I found this, this repo, uh, which I'll link in the description. Uh, it's actually, uh, it works. So, um, you know, this is exactly what he says, you know, um, c line does not recognize uh, GDB in it, uh, in the home directory, and requires overriding this. So that's what I did. So you download that, and what you're going to get is um, a this, right? So you're going to get that for 64-bit uh, and 32-bit. Uh, so that's essentially this folder right here. So I've got the 64-bit version. And so it's es essentially this one. The only thing you got to do is go in here and and take these two and drop them in here. However, um, in the... Yeah, so the shares, you can copy that without problem. However, in the um, the GDB init, you got to watch out a bit because I actually, if I take these two, so that was the original one that... Um, Hold up, no, I gotta take this one, I believe. I, think, I hope that's the old one. But yeah, anyways, the um, the version number here, so the folder was wrong, all right? So it was like seven point something, so I'm not gonna re-download it, but uh, it was wrong anyways. Uh, and this basically points, this points uh, in the share folder, this points here. And, um, Essentially, yeah, you, so you got to just copy what's in here and just write it down here since that's going to point uh, to that folder here. So um, you got to change that. Make sure you do that. The rest should be the same. You know, a Qt5 debugger, that's going to be here from the, you know, so from what you copied. So it should be fine. Um, yeah, apart from that, I also tried to... Um, to go in the C line thing because they actually have something very similar here, uh, which I thought could be something useful, you know, because the um, the fol the folder structure is very similar. So like, I don't know, here somewhere, I don't know, yeah, here exactly. So that, as you can see, it's it's very similar, and I thought, yeah, you know, like it must be if C line is is not using that one, then it must be using its own debugger. But then I I thought no because in the in the settings, it still it, it was using this one, um right. But I finally figured out you know and um there's no environment variables involved. It's just literally this drag and drop. With of course you gotta watch out to change um the path here, uh, to the correct one. Otherwise it's not gonna work. And the result is um, this. So if you start debugging now, it takes quite a while, big project I'm working on. But yeah, as you can see, so if I, let me just enter a function here real quick. There we go. So if I, as you can see, string, Q string is already working. And then if I go a bit further here, yeah, you get the operation, so you get a list of Q strings. There we go, they're all working. Um, this also works. Well, of course, these are integers, they should work. But uh, yeah, I mean, it works. It really works. Like, if I go, I don't know if that's going to, is it going to work? Yeah, okay. So now I'm going to go in here, and you can see that, you know, right side, it works. Uh, left side to operation like it works. I'm actually able to see some fucking variables now, which is amazing um, Like I know JetBrains have like some licensing issues with that, but like man, they should have that it's, They should come out of the box people shouldn't have to do that anyways Yeah, that's it really so this repo, you know saved my fucking ass uh, really Thank you to the guy who made that because otherwise I'd be I'd, I'd still be dead right now